Cloud Travel 9 sitting here. Eh, not mine. In for repair. Belongs to my mate. Not working at the minute. Used to be £4.80, but some not converted it to £5.3 five three pound play. The reason it's not working at the minute is it's parts were nicked for another machine. Program cards are still in the mess house. Or have been nicked for another game. No more, we'll sort that out. Oh no. It's a no bad nick. I'm broken into it at some point in his life. And then again, so is that one. You see the cabinets. Not in the best of nick. At the minute I'm using this one to prop that one up. And I'll show you the board. You know the sound of dinner being cooked in the background. Here's the board. Not too bad. It's got a bit of badly damaged it there, but nothing will clean up. But it's absolutely filthy. The plan of action for this is to wash it up and stay in the shower, believe it or not. Then clear all this battery gunk off, sand the corrosion down, and then see if it works. Now the purist would say, well you've got to change all the chips first. Nah, we'll see if it works first, if it ain't broke don't fix it. You might get some charter and solenoids but it's a home machine, it's not going to the site and it's probably not going to go anywhere after I'm finished with it. Alright, bye for now. Wow, take a look how well that cleaned up. And that's just for a standard household shower. Nice and clean now, it was absolutely filthy before. You don't even... Can't even see any battery corrosion now. Look. Here's nice. Right, well, looks like I may be onto the one with this board straight off the bat without actually doing much to it. And the next step is to get some vinegar on it and get any corrosion that is there treated. There we are. All cleaned up and treated with some vinegar. We've got a ton of corrosion. Just a focus. Can't really focus you mother. This doesn't look like there is any. I think we've got lucky with this. I think it was just healthy. Some discoloration in the back. Even that's cleaned up okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, let's dry overnight now before I can do anything with it. I suppose that's an advantage. That's CPU socketed already, so we need to change that. That's easy enough. If it doesn't work, probably need to change the RAM. Battery in itself. If I can get that to zoom in. There we are. Battery is spotless after treating. So, yeah, I think this is easily savable. Right! So, the next day, boards are all into there. Brown card in. I'm that. That's what I do. Right. Basic test rig. The best thing of MPU4 I find is you can basically test the minimum set up on your kitchen table. Let's get this nice hand back out of the way. Yes, I've got the real side of the machine. Got the board hooked up. Power supply. You don't need nothing else. Tricky to do this one hand, but plug it in, and there we go. Board's booting up. And sounds like it's running. Get a few.
keypad noise off the rails, that's probably coming through the lamp metric doing its thing on the motherboard. Right. Yeah, so far so good. So, next thing to do is reinstall it back in the machine. Right. Got the wheels and stuff back in the machine. Transformers bolted back down. Still on a test set. All I want to see now is the displays come on. So, let's try to let you do this one handed. Plug it in. Get some. Let's see what it says around the back here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so next step, and we'll do this live. Take the power back out. Uh, got to try and remember my plugs now. Oops. I forgot my plug order, I'll be right back. No, no, I'll be fine. I just got to briefly delve under my stuff. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. It's still there, it's still under there. I know, I know, I knew, I knew. No, it's not. No. 